uh, just before pandemic, we, my company, we signed very sophisticated uh, worldwide chain, one of the worldwide chain, resort chain, luxury resort chain. We just signed a contract and being their worldwide preferred partner for Turkey. Just a great, and we, our expectation was great. Then pandemic came. Uh, at that time, uh, we have uh, <coughs> six hotel contracts were planning to open uh, 2020, and the four restaurants we have. Then all canceled, not canceled. Uh, four of them canceled, and some of postponed. them postponed. Uh, then you can imagine, we received so many cancellations, you know, our hotels, we have many hotel clients and restaurant clients. They received many cancellations, and then we try to give them a guidelines, a guideline, because uh, I agree with you, totally agree. Uh, we should get, I mean, relax and think about uh, other crises, and every crisis has a, their own opportunities, in my opinion. So. We prepared a road, pl a road plan for them, and they just said, as a marketer, <laughs> as a marketer, I said, just be relaxed as, and be, uh, please uh, meet every uh, crisis with a sympathy. You know, em sorry, empathy. You know, uh, we should be empathy, and we understand people. They are so health conscious. Uh, that's why we try to understand the cancellation. With, and I said. Please uh, understand cancellation, but don't stop doing marketing, okay? Marketing is the, I mean, it's most thing. Don't, uh, I mean, send them, a, don't I mean, reduce your price because, uh, you know, the sum of the bad, I mean, uh, decision, I think, reduce price or decrease, decrease your price. It's not, uh, it, is, it is not, it wasn't the solution. Uh, you, you have to find a solution and please keep your marketing, just uh, arrange your mood and arrange your, I mean, uh, stay tuned and arrange, arrange your tune, which, which uh, I mean, uh, you have to uh, determine your uh, marketing uh, type. And uh, please share your uh, streamline video because everybody is, uh, I mean, digitalism getting very high, so use your streamline video. Uh, use, uh, every, our hotel has, especially our um, you know international one. Uh, they sent incredible videos because we, everybody was locked down and think about health. But on the other end, they like to, would like to go some somewhere else. You know, uh, escape patient mode. It was so high, uh, and then we we said, please uh, don't stop your market doing marketing and choose your uh, best videos and uh, stream live videos, uh, maybe some recipes from gastronomy f from a uh, uh, kitchen, and maybe, well, I mean, uh, it's best one was, in my opinion, everybody thinking about health and being stay healthy. Uh, That's why uh, wellness videos is so important, and share your uh, important videos, and. Uh, Prepare your marketing plan and strategic marketing plan. Revise your strategic marketing plan and revise your, uh, not only strategic marketing plan, maybe comp set, complementary set. I mean, uh, please your comp set, uh, revise your comp set. And this sort of many things, we prepare a road, pl a road map and send them and uh, we control uh, frequently. So in summary, actually first, you didn't panic, but you sit back. Yeah. And uh, by being um, uh, extending your empathy, empathy. to others, yeah. you created sustainable strategies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sustainable you means it will continue. Exactly. Because uh, really, first, you have to take care of your employees mm -hmm. because it is not their fault. Yeah. This, this crisis is not the fault of the employees. Mm -hmm. So you care your employees. Then you created strategies. Maybe employees couldn't get the same salary as they received before, but they should appreciate they receive the salary. Yes. Exactly. So this is, I am <coughs> always advising the company that I am consulting, because really what we have done at Blue Chip, we are 60 people altogether. The founder is a lady, 
Elmas, and uh, we are doing 400 events, global and uh, mm -hmm. local events per year. We turned our creative team to a digital team. Yeah. And since September, we did 50 hybrid and virtual events, over 100,000 participants. The biggest one, Arkelik, with 10,000 participants, last Uludağ Economic Summit is done by ourselves. But the success came, the turning company at the right time, right place. Thank you. We oh. don't want to continue with online events because it is only 10% in comparison to the real event. The, the invoice, the, the profit, and it is, it is really, amount is minimal. But other, on the other hand, thank God, we turned the company. We adapted virtual online events. And we will all see the uh, results of online events next year because I will I don't think that it will affect sales very positively. Exactly. It, even trainings. Exchanging information, we need yes. We need trainees. Yes, but training through Zoom, mm -hmm. through other online events will not be effective. This as is my belief. As, yeah. But oh, we will right. see the sales results. What do you think, Suat? Do you have a similar idea or different For future. idea? For future, yes. Uh, the main ability of humankind is to adapt. Yes. That's why we have been living on this earth for ten thousands of years and on seven continents. We are the only <coughs> living soul in all continents. There is no other animal than us. So we are able to adapt in every circumstances. Yeah. But as a guide, I can just relate this to visit a museum. When we were visiting museums with our guests, we were showing them some items. And then, for the humankind, seeing that item was not enough, everyone wanted to touch. Think yourselves as kids. When you see something new, you want to touch. <laughs> it doesn't change, in mm -hmm. fact. When you grow up and when you see something new, and interesting, you want to touch, you want to feel it again. Because we have five senses, mm -hmm. all to be used for. Mm -hmm. We cannot stay just by smelling, just by seeing or hearing. We need to touch too. So, in the upcoming future, maybe two years later, I'm a bit uh, pessimistic about the end of the pandemic, to be honest. Uh, I think it will be about 2024, at the half of 2024, I don't know when, but it will take some time. But in the meantime, we are going to adapt and we are going to learn how to live with the pandemic. <laughs> it won't go away, but we're going to adapt. Very true. The, the very first day of the first case that was found in Turkey, as the representatives of the tourism industry, we were in a meeting in the Ministry of Tourism and Culture. And there I asked a question. Back then we were very optimistic. We were thinking that the pandemic will end in four months, in July, October, September. But there I asked a question. What if it doesn't finish in the near future? What are we going to do? The main question is that, True. for now, we had a very hard time to adapt to use masks, disinfections, and everything. But after that, think about the child's children at the age of five. Their life will be all about masks, disinfectants, and hygiene all over the world. So, we're going to adapt and begin to do everything with the thing we call new normal. Yes. But the thing is that we are the only generation that's calling it the new normal. For the next generations, yeah. it will be normal normal. 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 It That's will be normal normal. normal. As, as I told you, it will be something else. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. It can be something else. It depends 
how we can adapt and how we, we transform ourselves, our companies ourselves. accordingly. Yes, Whoever succeed this transformation will survive, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever cried since the beginning mm -hmm. will fail. Sorry, this is there, this, this will be the life. I, I don't yes. believe that there will be anyone who won't be successful mm -hmm. because. You know, sometimes the history, the world itself, the rotation of the world, uh, in a sense, just forces you to do something mm -hmm. that will make you survive. That's what we're still alive. The first instinct of the mankind is to survive, right? It's the same thing for the companies. You may go back, you may lose some of your incomes, or you can even spend some of your, I don't know, you can sell your apartments, buildings, everything. But at the end, even by changing a name, the companies will survive, the sectors, the industries will survive, the new industries will be added to everything that we know, even in tourism, everything. Mice exhibitions will change into events or some other things. Or I don't like it, but possibly there will be hybrid events. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will continue. Uh, but everything will survive at the end. Normal events and hybrid events or virtual events will continue altogether. Of because please be informed that all the companies are aware of doing hybrid events very cost effective ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. so they will they will use it we feel yeah. that it is very cost effective and companies uh, started to have i mean uh, people are working at their homes and it will continue they will not come back to the office even in our company creative team is working at the home they will not come so really it will continue May I give just one example, please, sure. about that? As TREP, we have the right to do the foreign language exams for the tourist guides candidates. And before pandemic, we were doing those exams face-to-face, -face, oral exams and written exams also. But during pandemic, we, need to, we needed to find a solution for those exams. Then we began to do it online. When we were doing it face-to-face, -face, it was costing us let's say 10. Now we are doing online exams and it costs us just one. Okay. So that's it. That's so. the salvation. Great. <laughs> we, can, we can have the presentation of Mr. Omar Thank you very much. And yeah, yeah, before presentation, I would like also to pay attention. This online life or virtual life is becoming as normal, traditional as previous speaker mentioned. But believe me, offline, is much better. Of course. Not only not in the tourism, on business hazards, no including doubt. our diplomacy. Mm. So online you can do it. Exactly. Nicely. I think. Or in same thing in tourism. So everyone knows that saying that is better I to see uh, something uh, once them to hear thousand times. So this way is uh, offline. It will be in our industry by networking with each other we produce business. Exactly. Yes. But I also, mean, but also in our generation. In our generation. What do you think? Uh, you, we should the, think in the next generation. Baby boomers. They prefer. Be I think they prefer digital one. Yeah. 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 So yeah. This one. Yeah. I would like to. Can we have the presentation, please? Your uh, attention for another couple mm -hmm. minutes to presentation to ten reason uh, to visit. Kyrgyzstan. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have only 10 minutes left, mm -hmm. but also for Q&A, we have to spare some time. So, for the uh, last session, I will need only one or two sentences from each other okay. for the future, how we should communicate. Mm -hmm. Communication. Communication is also important yes. because pandemic is not in our control, but communication is our con in, under our control. Exactly. In your country, in how we will communicate? Uh, this will be my question. Sure, I will answer. No, first let's see the. Yes, please. Can we just start the presentation? Without any comments uh, in, in our uh, <coughs> this 10 or 11 slideshow, 
you can see. Yeah, please start. Oh. Yes, 10 reasons to visit Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, 10 reasons. Oh, thank you. Teşekkürler. Yeah, and the first is we have four season tourism, this winter sports, and the, of course, and then the history look back to the great Silk Road, we call in Turkish in Yipek Yolo, and the <coughs> and mountain lakes, but one is biggest lakes, this is, you know, the, our uh, Isikul, which I mentioned yesterday in, during my speech, this is biggest the lake in, uh, in the world. And the Isikul Lake and the nomadic uh, culture and the, our background is all of is nomadic and the, as you know, and the, we are Kyrgyzstan is already organized Dynolik you know, World Nomadic Games in three, four times and the next one will be next year in Turkey and actually mm. in Iznik, in Bursa. So um, antiquity and the success places and the also in the, as you know, the all of in the, our the Manasepos and the Celestial Monterey scenery. And the, in, in this, oh, sorry. Bir yardımcı olur mu? Yardımcı olur musunuz? Şey, okay. So, sorry, this is a cool look how see. In summertime, you can see on the beach and the same time take uh, jeep and the drive after 25 minutes, you can touch snow or mm -hmm. ice. <laughs> okay, this mountain is okay. occupied, it's this lake by our mountains. Uh, and the industrial uh, potential and type of tourism is uh, mountain tourism and sport tourism, extreme tourism, cultural tourism, health tourism, uh, uh, recreation tourism, Ethno, eco ethno tourism, and the business tourism, medical tourism, and the others. So. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, and the number of foreign citizens visited Kyrgyz Republic, but our population 6.5 million, and the uh, as you see in, in our, this slide is visiting in more than 8 million uh, people in 2019. Of course, in last year was pandemic period is, is going down. And the percentage of tourists by countries is in, traditionally from Soviet time, is uh, mostly tourists is coming our CIS countries, I mean about Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, is our, from our neighbors, Tajikistan, and the uh, non cs other countries. And the, we have in two daily two flights from Istanbul to Bishkek, operating by Turkish Airlines and the Pegasus. And of course, and the, our national uh, air companies also. Uh, this is, and the, also the, yesterday I mentioned in the international rating of Kyrgyzstan in 2019-20, the publication Lonely Planet included Kyrgyzstan in top countries for travel, and the well-known media is like CNN and Bloomberg also included Kyrgyzstan to list of best countries uh, for tourism. In 2000, this year, the Guardian is the leading British publisher is also listed to 12 countries for visit led by Kyrgyzstan. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rady. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, really we have few minutes left, but uh, I will start with uh, the uh, predictions of uh, mega trend right booker Rohit Bargava. He is a guy, keynote speaker, <coughs> and since 10 years, he is predicting mega trends, and uh, please, and his company called Non Obvious Company, and he is very famous in USA. And during last year, he has participated more than 100 meetings. For meeting industry, he says in 2021 there will be three modes: 
one human mode, mm -hmm. as we all discuss, people will need more networking and will be more selecting. Sorry, maybe people will not need Murtaza, these panels, but they need more networking with each other, more interaction. Really, this will be the trend. Second, just be you. Mm -hmm. It means that please let people to explain themselves. It is related with each other. People would like to explain themselves. It, please think that it will affect all mice industry in 2021. The last, the last mode is instant knowledge. He means that now we watch all big performances or concerts through Zooms. We need very high quality videos. We are not accepting less quality stuff. We really, we would like to own this knowledge. We are not tolerant if we receive some less quality stuff. So when you are preparing something for your clients, for your future activities, please concentrate on quality. People are more sensitive on quality. So, last sentence for communication. How should we communicate? I think uh, communication is the key element between the human being. So it is the success while we have a best communication, we can convert our products, we can convert our uh, knowledge and get knowledge. So communication is the base of any success business, any success uh, events. So I have uh, come to know that since the event start in the, this event, in the, I think in February, they are starting with the uh, communication with me. So until my arrival, they have a very good communication. So I have no uh, fear about anything that might be I'm, where I'm going, where I'm going, uh, get these things. So this is a, as an example. So I think uh, we have to keep grip on our communication with the yeah. other network, uh, yeah. other peoples, and we can uh, make success a story for the future, for the, uh, between our relationship, any kind of the relationship between like business. Very or, cool. So I have focused the uh, word on the communication is the key roller between any success. Yes, so. which means that as a summary, we should keep our communication with our suppliers, <coughs> with our yes, third parties. You know, interaction, in, uh, while we are going to say interaction, interaction is the, yes. uh, your communication, while it is in writing or while it is your talking. So interaction is the, your communication. Yes. And we all are sitting here due to the interaction exactly. and communication. So I would like to say, keep in touch with the communication and we are, as a global village, we are sitting here right now. We are together and we need to keep in touch in future. And this, this communication should be done genuinely. Yes. And we should tell them, we care about you, but genuinely, from our heart. Yes. You know, this is so important. We are all human beings. We are so sensitive nowadays. If you do it genuinely, it will be more effective Def and sustainable. Def yes, as a uh, woman, Narmin, what, mm. did, what do you say? Uh, I, I think the pandemic reminds us the most important thing, most important thing to invest, not our cash flow. It's our health, being human, uh, keeping environment, keeping your well-being. That's why we should communicate, communicate with empathy and sure. as a human. We are maybe a hotelier, we are maybe, I mean, successful, blah, blah, but first of all, we are a human, and pandemic remind us, uh, stay well, healthy, and stay human, I think. And communicate. Communicate. Yes. Yeah. So, um, sincerity will be the key word, mm. yes. first of all. So, and we need to think that, why are we calling the distance with the same name that we're calling the media. Social distance and social media. These mm -hmm. both two names are in fact lies. We know it by knowledge, but we still use it because humankind 
has the social intelligence mm -hmm. and it's a must for us to survive again. So socializing will be again the key. We will sincerely socialize in order to survive this pandemic. Yes. Even if we have the possibility to have COVID. Yes, yes. thank you very much. And yeah, Mr. thank Roman. you. And we have only 20 seconds. So uh, <laughs> communication, if you for just communication, this is nice. This is life. Social media is yes. for, you know, and for uh, is also the easy to communicate and the for speedily also and the this is on is I think is uh, it will be still in the normally in the us traditionally and so, uh, thank you very much to all of you Me, I hope you. you enjoyed our session as well uh, if we have a chance we could continue mm -hmm. two hours more <laughs> but as a summary uh, we will continue to communicate and uh, this one year passed already, ladies and gentlemen. You know, at the March, we were thinking it was three months. <laughs> Even maybe it will be one year more. Maybe we mm -hmm. will suffer, but it will pass. And we will have a new day at the end of the, uh, this period. And uh, we should care each other all together. And uh, we should meet each other by keeping the social distance, but we should continue. We should create sustainable interaction and communication with each other. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Social distance always is it's okay. Any, any question maybe? We would any like question? to thank all the participants yes. here. If there's any question that we can have from our audience. I guess not. It's been very informative yes. and very uh, enlightening part, really. I, I have enjoyed also myself. Also one thing I would like to say about Hussein. Hussein, really. Ladies and gentlemen, he was a speaker yeah. before. He, when I met in 2016, he is still young. At that <laughs> time, he was younger, but he has ambition yeah. in travel industry. What he has been doing, and he never give up. Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. together with 17 associations, they went to Ankara for certain support of the government. Mm -hmm. They visit parties, politicians, and <laughs> this Hussein initiated everything. And really, also, I would yeah. like to thank to Hussein.